silliness. We're doing circles and the circumference of a circle in this lesson. Very formal, being serious. Circumference, very big word. It's the same as perimeter for rectangles and uh, polygons, which are straight-sided shapes. But when it's a circle, it's the distance around a circle. So, get used to the word circumference. That's for circles. If you had a semicircle, which would be half a circle, of course, then we would be calling that perimeter because it's not a full circle, it's got a straight line there. All right? But for circles, we do circumference. Now, we want, how do we work out the distance around a circle? Well, you've probably done the old trick with a, a piece of string, go around like that and then straighten it out. That's one way of measuring it. The other, though, we use formulas. And you have to know everything based around the middle of the circle. Now, the, uh, the names of the things that you need to know, I'm losing it, I'm, I'm forgetting what I've got, because I can't find my ruler. Aha! There it is. Okay, I've got my ruler. Now, from the middle to the edge of the circle, that is called the radius. R-A-D-I-U-S radius. And if the line goes from one side of the circle to the other, through the middle, it's the diameter. D-I-A-M-E-T-E-R. Diameter. So the diameter actually is two radii, or radiuses, because there's one that side and there's one going out there. The radius could be anything. Going all that way around. Always, a circle is always the same distance from the middle. All the way around. That's what makes a circle. Very hard to draw freehand. I actually didn't do this freehand. I used the bottom of a uh, rubbish, you know, an office bin for the rubbish. Wasn't easy. Alright, so, how do we do this? How do we work out the distance? Well, somebody's worked, come up with a theory, and it's called uh, using pi. Pi is a symbol, like that. Now pi equals, as a fraction, it's 22 over 7. Or 3.14. Okay, you can use either of them. Or if you use a calculator, with a pi symbol on it, you can just push pi. Now the formula for the circumference of a circle is C equals pi times D. Now D is the diameter. So if you do pi times D, you will uh, get the circumference. And because D is uh, twice the radius, you know, there are two of them, we also can use the, if they give in a problem you have the radius, we can use this one, which is 2 pi r. Two, two r's make the d. So you can use either one if you like. If you're given the diameter, you might as well use pi d. If you're given the radius, 2 pi r. So that's you know, how you work it out. If you were told that the diameter was, um, say, 14 centimetres, then the radius would be 7 centimetres, because it's half. And if you wanted to work out the uh, circumference of that circle, and you wanted to use 22 over 7, because you, um, the teacher usually tells you what to use for pi, you would say C equals... Um, well, we'll use pi D which equals 22 over 7 multiplied by 14. And we'll put the 14 over 1 to make it a fraction. Now we can cancel out because 7's go 1, 7's go 2, and that gives us 44 centimetres. That would be the distance around the outside. 
If you were using 3.14, then you just multiply 14 times 3.14. Okay, that's circumference of a circle. I wasn't very organised, so I made a few mistakes, but this is live. As live as you can get, not live, but I'm not uh, editing my lessons, so sometimes I do have bloopers, but that's live.